Lighting for YouTube videos is very important. Check out the difference in this and this. Turning on all these lights for YouTube videos is a lot of work. So I wanted to build something to automate this. I'm working with smart lights, specifically the hue ones. And with these lights, you can control the hue and the saturation. But you have to do this through an app, unless you use Python. So in this video, I wanted to make a Python script to do this automatically, so I don't have to turn on all my lights every time I want to film. Let's start out by seeing if anyone's already had the same problem. We'll go Python hue lights into Google. Uh, let's check this out. It looks like someone has already built something that we can use to control our hue lights. So we'll just use this. Pulling up a text editor and installing that package. We'll install it with pip. So it's called p hue. We'll just pip install that. We downloaded it and it looks like we got it. So now we'll import p hue. We'll actually, uh, we'll actually take this from p hue import bridge. So we'll put that in and we'll do the connection ip of your bridge we'll put that in here let's go and grab my ip address we'll call this one ip address dot pi and we'll just say uh, bridge ip address the bridge is just what controls the lights so this is how we'll access it by using the ip address of the bridge i got the ip address of this bridge and i'll put this in here i'm going to blare this out in the video that way you guys can't torment me with my own lights. So we'll save that. We'll import that. So from IP address, import, and then what, what do we call it? Bridge IP address. Bridge IP address. Okay, so now we can use this to access our bridge. So we'll pass it in right here. IP address. All right, so this should give us a connection to our lights. And then we need to actually call this connect function after we hit the button. So I'll go hit the button real quick and then I'll run connect. All right, we hit the button. Um, then let's run this hue lights.py. No IP address. Okay, um, wrong variable name here. Bridge IP address. We'll save that and now let's run this again. 30 seconds, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again run it no response so that means we're connected so we can get rid of this all right let's create a few functions so we can have some different settings on our lights uh let's call one function film lights and to use this we'll probably want to create an access function so let's say access lights we'll take this and move it in there and that also means we want the argument of bridge IP address right here. After this, we want to be able to access all the lights. So let's go see what their method is to access all the lights. It looks like this. We can get a dictionary of all of our lights. So we'll take this and put it into our access lights. Instead of the ID, let's work with the names. And we'll call this light names list. We want this access lights function to return this. So let's say return light names light. That should be list. All right, now let's set all my film lights. We'll do that in this function. We need to access those lights. So we'll use the access lights function that we created above. We'll pass in bridge IP address. After that, we need to change every light. So let's say something like for light, in lights, we'll see how they access them here. So we'll just take this, copy it, and paste it here. We'll change all of these to what we're actually using, lights instead of light names. This will probably be the most used function whenever I want to run this Python script. So let's make it that. If name is equal to main we'll just run this function film lights all right let's execute this access light is not defined okay oh spelling error all right let's try this again access light is not defined two spelling errors all right 
All right, so now we have access to changing the light color. Let's change it to 5,000 and we'll do 100 on the saturation. It's changing, but it's not what we want. 20,000. There we go. So now we have access to changing all the lights in my house. I don't know the specific colors for hue and saturation, but I do know a few colors. So let's create a new function. We'll call this one danger mode. And then this one, we'll use the access light method too. So access lights with the bridge IP address. And then let's say something like for light in lights. We'll copy this. And let's say that there's an emergency going on and we want to flash these suckers red. I'm pretty sure red, if what I'm reading is correct, is 180 and 100. And then if we want to flash, let's import a module called time. So this will give us the ability to wait. So we'll say time.sleep and then let's sleep one second. This needs to be outside of our for loop. And then let's do this again. Um, I think white is 7,000. All right, let's try this. We'll change our main function to danger mode and execute. That's good, but we need it to flash. So let's um, let's say while true, and then we'll indent all of this over. And then we want to sleep right here too. All right, this will give us an infinite loop, but for the purposes of this, it's okay. Yeah, there we go. And then if we wanted to go back to film lights, let's go and say film lights. We'll execute. I just found this package and I thought it was cool. So maybe you can use it, maybe you can't, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for what we should build next, please let me know. Until next time.